Epic added the big pot 2,114 days ago, but only players who played back then know it's actually been changed. So today, I wanted to put together a list of 60 things that you would only know if you're a Fortnite OG. For example, only Chapter 1 veterans will remember that you could sit in a shopping cart and shoot a minigun at the back and then go flying across the entire map at super high speeds. Now you might remember that, but what about number 2? Shield potions weren't always blue. If you're a real OG, you'd remember that in Fortnite Season 0, shield potions were actually gray rarity and so were medkits. Fortnite has also nerfed the big pot and are planning to change it in the near future, but I'll tell you about that later in the video. But I guarantee none of you remember number three, the random compass around the minimap. In the first few weeks of Battle Royale, Epic actually had a second compass that was around the minimap and it was a little bit redundant and weird, so they decided to just remove it. But now let's bring it back to a classic at number four. A lot of you might remember the fish at Retail Row. The fish shops had a fish sign outside, and if you stood in front of the fish and did a dance, the fish would actually dance with you and sing a little song. But something I kind of wish was back was the infinite range pumps. That's right, back in the day, pumps had no fall off damage and you could do max damage headshots from across the entire map and the pump was basically a sniper rifle. Epic quickly removed this just like they did with the guided missile launcher. A lot of chapter one OGs remember how much fun this weapon was. You could self rocket ride with this thing and then Epic decided to actually nerf it so it couldn't turn as fast, but real OGs remember just how much fun this gun really was before it got removed. And speaking of things people loved, we have to talk about the old start screen in Fortnite. It looks simple with just two options, but the music and the vibe that it gave off was something truly special. You just had to be there to understand the feeling, just like the feeling we got when we saw these yellow palettes. When you saw them, you knew you were going to get some quality materials, and there were so many memes that spawned from these palettes, like people posting palettes they saw in real life talking about farming them. Honestly, this is the OG farming resource. These pallets scream OG Fortnite just like friendly fire. And my friend Nick Merckx is not innocent when it comes to this. <laughs> oh, this is what I mean by dumb kids, bro. What the <laughs> is wrong with y'all dumb kids? Yeah, you could just shoot your own teammates and thankfully Epic decided to remove it, but they added something a few seasons later that was really awesome. Back in season five, Epic added golf in Fortnite. With the new season, they added a golf emote and you could just play golf in Lazy Links. And there was actually an animation that played when you got the ball in the hole and OG players remember how much fun this was. And at number 11, we gotta talk about the old storm in Fortnite. We know how it looks like today, but back then the storm had a very unique look to it with this hexagon pattern that went across the screen. And honestly, I like how the old storm looks compared to the current one. It would be really cool if they one day brought back the old storm, even if it was just for a limited time. And speaking of the storm, back then you couldn't see the storm on the map or the mini map. You would just see the circle and where the next one is, which Honestly, it looks very confusing looking back at this. And not just that, the white arrow that we know today was actually just a blue dot on the old minimap. There's so many quality of life changes that have happened through the years that we just sometimes forget. But I bet a lot of you haven't forgotten the red Christmas supply drops that happened during the first Winterfest. Seeing these will remind any OG of season two when they also added the Christmas bushes and you can't forget the classic Christmas lobby music that they played Listening to this really brings me back to the good old days. And speaking of bushes, did you know back then the bushes were actually in different locations depending on what platform you were? This would have been a huge issue if crossplay was a thing back then, but thankfully that was fixed. Just like they fixed the swing set in Retail Row that would ban you if you played on it. People were using these swing sets to crash the server, so Epic decided to just ban anybody who was messing with them. And nowadays, you can drink a slap juice while moving, and a lot of people think this is pretty innovative, but what if I told you back when the Slurp first released, it actually had this feature, and Epic decided that was a little too powerful, so they removed that ability after only three days. But it took them a lot longer to remove the double pump. It was a hot topic for a very long time, and eventually they decided to nerf the double pump. Shortly after that, you could still use the pump and the tack shotgun to run two shotguns, 
but that was short-lived because they decided to nerf that as well and now you really can only use one shotgun at a time but they also nerfed llamas when they came out they gave you 500 wood stone and metal but you could actually see them from the battle bus and some players were so good they can spot them before even hopping on the battle bus from spawn island but now at number 19 i'm going to give you one that's going to really challenge even the most og players did you guys know that in one of their first updates to battle royale they actually reduced fall damage right now fall damage starts at three stories and increases until it becomes lethal at six but back then you could take fall damage from any height even a short fall would give you a little bit of fall damage and epic thought this was a little too much and speaking of too much and number 20 the old vending machines used to take materials for payment and sometimes you'd have to spend 500 wood brick or metal just for one gold item that was bad but not as bad as the bloom in early fortnite people sometimes forget just how bad the gunplay was bloom was so bad that players like ninja and tifu didn't even want to play the game because of how unsatisfying it was to use those weapons epic made a bunch of changes to how the weapons work to attract more players and it worked but the weapons were also just too powerful because back then the gold scar used to do 97 headshot damage and even a gray pump could one pump you and sometimes it would only do eight damage because the shotgun pellets were randomly spread out and you could hit just one shotgun pellet but nowadays the minimum is three and with all the weapons having crazy bloom and random pellets the scoped ar was one of the best weapons in early fortnite it did insane damage from range and was extremely accurate epic even updated the goofy looking triangle reticle for a modern one that gave it even more accuracy and at number 25 some of you are still doing this to this day pro players back then like myth were telling us not to break trees all the way because it gave away your position and it actually did there was a huge animation that happened when you broke a tree and it would easily give up your position nowadays it's not a big deal but some people to this day don't break trees all the way and these days we get different battle bus music depending on what's going on in fortnite but back then we had the og battle bus music and it was magnificent <laughs> And at number 27, we actually have a myth that was pretty embarrassing. Back then, everybody thought that when you had your pickaxe out, you would run faster. Every streamer, every pro player would tell you that. But the reality was that wasn't true. I guess other games had similar mechanics. So we just assumed that running with your pickaxe would make you go faster. But Epic did decide to make us go slower while swinging our pickaxe by giving us a 20% speed nerf while swinging. That wasn't always the case just like ninja's hair wasn't always blue ogs remember that he dyed his hair pink when he reached 30,000 subscribers on twitch he did this to cosplay as goku black but i guess the cosplay didn't include any of the muscles i mean look at this guy but seriously this was a huge moment for fortnite ogs because seeing one of our streamers reach a milestone like this with so many people watching was really the starting point for Fortnite to blow up on all platforms. And at number 29 in OG Fortnite, there was an interesting way to be useful while knocked. If you had auto pickup items on and you crawled over items, you would pick them up. Epic added this as a feature now, but back then they thought it was so OP that they actually removed that glitch from being possible. Thankfully, something they haven't removed until now is rocket riding. Everyone thought Epic was going to remove it, but then they made a blog post saying that, hey, they think it's cool and they're just going to keep it as a feature and they won over a lot of us when they said this. But they didn't really win our hearts over with the old inventory. I mean, just take a look at this. Why is there two different lines of guns? There's like 20 different stats on the weapons and the mats and ammo count are next to each other. And the whole screen is blocked so you literally can't see what's going on in the game. Thankfully, it's come a long way since then, but this, this was atrocious. Just like the reception to the smoke grenades, because they added this thinking people were gonna use this tactically, people were not using the smoke grenades and you literally could not see when you were in the smoke grenade. So it was almost useless to use in the first place. I'm gonna say a line that will strike fear in every single OG Fortnite player's hearts. Search for seven chests at Risky Reels the most challenging quest ever added to the game and only true veterans with enough skill could complete it everyone was going crazy over the new secret visitor skin and this was the last challenge that you had to complete and it was insane but close to risky reels there was another poi that a lot of ogs grew to love tomato town but real ogs remember the secret tunnels that were near tomato town underneath the bridge 
This entire area is just very nostalgic for me and very special, just like the random structures that were on the old map. There were these structures that were made out of builds that could be edited by anybody on any team. There was a llama near Junk Junction, a chair in the middle of the map, there was a fox, and even a castle made out of these build structures. Speaking of structures, what about the ice cream truck in Dusty Divot that had 100,000 HP? Players were going crazy trying to break it because they could hear a chest in there and they thought maybe the chest had some legendary scar or something, but it was a regular chest. Some players were smart enough to realize you can break the ice cream truck instantly by throwing a port fort at it. But what about number 37? Fortnite banner borders. When you're spectating your teammates or if you press escape, you could actually see these Fortnite player borders and they were based on your season level. We never noticed when they were gone, but this is one of the big things that reminds us of OG Fortnite. And this next one is kind of a pain. Back then, when you broke the floor that a chest was on, the entire chest would break, including the items. You would get nothing. So only OG players remember when they updated this and we didn't have to worry about breaking our chests. Just like when they updated the trees, because back then you could not build near any trees in Fortnite. There was a lot of places on the map that you couldn't build, including fences. No, I can't place a wall because of the fence, man! But the trees were the biggest offenders getting you killed in the middle of a build fight. And it wasn't just trees. Players could not build on Loot Lake. Going across Loot Lake was a death sentence because you could not build structures unless you built some type of bridge across. And if you got shot out, you were stuck in the water, moving slow and became easy pickings. Speaking of moving slow, there was a guy moving really slow around the OG map and his name was Kevin the Cube. Only OGs remember that he randomly spawned in in the middle of a Fortnite skirmish tournament and Ninja and Dr. Lupo were actually close enough to see this live. Bro, is this, is this an event? What just happened? Honestly, looking back, this looks scripted as hell, but they were actually genuinely surprised. And we can't talk about the OG map without also talking about the old factories. They were east of Salty Springs, and while they weren't a named POI, they were one of the most favorite drops for a lot of OG players. Rest in peace to the OG factories. We might as well say rest in peace to the current grenades because they really suck, but look how the old weapons and grenades used to look like when they were in your inventory. They were just silhouettes and icons, and honestly, this is crazy to see how far we've come. And that's not the only thing that changed visually. At number 44, we got to talk about the little Roadrunner cartoon trail that happened every time you moved around. It made it really easy for people to spot you, and I honestly forgot when Epic even removed these. But something I will never forget is playing soccer in Pleasant Park. Epic added a soccer field and it actually worked and players would sometimes just land in the soccer field and instead of picking up weapons or farming mats would have a soccer match in the middle of the game. The community back then just really hit different. And something that was really different back then were traps and while they've been vaulted for a very long time, the old traps were a little confusing. There was a shock trap. There was a ceiling zapper, a wall dynamo, and even a bouncer. And I'm not talking about the one you guys remember. There was a directional bounce pad that would launch you in the direction you were going. Honestly, sometimes I really miss the traps and wish they would bring some of them back, but they really wouldn't work in zero build. So I kind of understand why they have it. But something I'm glad they did was nerfing the boogie bomb. When this thing was added, people had a ton of fun with it, but it lasted 10 seconds. It honestly took them a while to nerf them, and I abused a lot of defaults with the boogie bombs. I'm just going to say I'm sorry. And now at number 48, OG players remember that feeling when they first saw the comet in the sky and noticed it was getting bigger. And shortly after, we started getting hit with meteors in the middle of a match, and these things were deadly. But now let's go for a throwback. If you remember this quest, you're definitely an OG. There was a quest in Loot Lake where you had to dance with three other players at the disco. Everyone was nice back then, so it was easy to complete. But after we were done dancing, it was time to shoot. But not as deadly as number 50. The most mythical item to ever come to Fortnite, the Zapatron. They actually released it for a few hours and there's such little footage of it in action. I'm really surprised Epic has never tried to release it since then. And speaking of releasing things, the game changed dramatically when Epic released Playground Mode. It was floating up in the air in the middle of the map, and it was a cool way to practice your builds and aim. 
And speaking of something cool, you guys remember when Epic reduced the cost of V-Bucks? When they started their battle with Apple, they actually decided to reduce the cost of V-Bucks. As someone who buys every skin in the game, I'm really glad they did this. And speaking of skins, the most feared skin in OG Fortnite has to be the John Wick skin. And if you had wings, you were really in trouble. Speaking of trouble, you usually weren't in trouble when you ran into a default. But back in chapter one, being a fake default was very popular. Thanks to Tifu starting the default army, there was a lot of defaults that were extremely sweaty and would catch you off guard. And all the OG players will remember the horror that took over the community when Scissors dropped the Scissors death run. Absolutely everybody was playing it, trying to complete it, and this thing was nearly impossible. It was the start of creative and the first big map that really popped off. And it was pretty much the foundation of what we know today is UEFN and Creative 2.0. And back then, Epic had an interesting way of giving us extra Battle Pass levels. There was these loading screens with secret Battle Pass stars in them. And if you could solve the clue, you could find these Battle Stars on the map and get one free level. At number 57, we have to talk about one of the most questionable things Epic added to the game. They thought it was a good idea to add this sound effect anytime you got a friend request. You've got a friend request oh, cool. coming. Someone wants to be friends. Keep in mind, back then, streamers could not turn off friend requests, so this was going to be a problem. Thankfully, Epic fixed it pretty quickly. And at number 58, we got to talk about the old submachine gun. And I'm talking about the really old submachine gun that has never came back to the game. It was a decent weapon with a lot of bloom and a big kick. But only OG players will remember this because it got replaced by the TAC SMG which is now referred to as the OG SMG, but this one was actually the first one. And another thing only OG players will remember is that when minis first got added to the game, you could hold up to 10 minis. Epic eventually nerfed this in season seven, and it's something I predicted they would do when they first added it. And of course, now you can only carry six. And speaking of how many shields you can carry, we need to talk about something that I guarantee no one watching actually remembers. The big shield potion. It's never been changed in the 2,114 days since it's been out. Or has it? It's actually been changed twice, and it's going to change again very soon. So let's break this down. At first, you could carry five shield potions in one stack. Epic thought this was too much, so they nerfed it down to two shield potions, and then eventually buffed it back up to three. Not only that, but they're actually planning to change the big pot again, you would drink only half the shield potion, go up to 100, and now have a big shield potion that has 25 shield remaining. This will be a great quality of life change, and I'm sure in five years down the line, I'll be making a video about all the OG things people don't remember from 2023 in Fortnite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.